1.5 thousand cubic feet per second into the river. That is the greatest flow on record. As a matter of fact, the Mill Avenue Bridge and the Central Avenue Bridge have a capacity, can only stand a flow of 170 to 180 thousand feet, cubic feet per second. But the main problem that people seem to be concerned about right now is just how to get home. Rick DeBru has been following the traffic situation and can tell us right now what it is. Rick? Linda, an hour ago we reported at 5 o'clock that there were five bridges open. As of now, there are only three bridges open. The only bridges open across the Salt River are the Mill Avenue, the Central Avenue, and the I-10 Bridge. The Hayden Road crossing and the crossing at Scottsdale Road have both been closed. That just within the last hour. At this point, traffic is already seriously backed up. Uh, policemen are out trying to control it as much as possible. But so far, it does not look good as far as getting home. There's going to be a long delay. If you haven't left yet, you might consider waiting a little bit longer because it's definitely not going to help any at this point to get more people on the road. Monday, they're going to try to set up reversible lanes on the Central Avenue Bridge. That will probably be one of the best routes to get to work. Uh, however, if they do go above the 170 to 180 range, it's just a question mark as to how good those bridges are going to be come Monday. Right now, traffic is bad, and we can just hope as far as how things are going to go on Monday. Rick, one of the things that we can't mention enough is to warn people to pay attention to the barricades. Definitely. Do not try to cross any of those where, wherever there are barricades. Please pay attention to them. Ken, back to you. Okay, Linda, we'll be checking uh, in with you before the newscast is over. Thank you. Well, on top of all this rain and flooding, county and state authorities thought they had a radioactive leak on their hands today, but luckily they were wrong. Two trucks, both trying to avoid hitting a small car, jackknifed this morning on the freeway in Tempe. One of the trucks was carrying containers of small amounts of Krypton-85, a radioactive material. 